Hey guys, it's Audrey from Mom Generation. So I am with four of my children, my four sons, who are all gonna be heading back to school this year, August 31st. I don't know if you guys know that it's that quickly coming up. But we're gonna go through and quickly introduce everybody, and I want everyone to say their name and what grade you're heading into. Okay, so we'll start with this handsome guy over here. What's your name, what grade are you going into? Benjamin, and I'm going into fourth grade. William, and I'm going into sixth grade. Henry, and I'm going into third grade. Alex, and I'm going into fifth grade. So you heard that correctly. We have a third, a fourth, a fifth, and a sixth grader. They're all mixed up right now, but they are all heading back to school. They're one grade after each other, and these four boys are part of Generation Z. And Generation Z is the generation of kids, school age, that are heading back to school this year. So one thing that I love about really being able to be a mom, and, and you know, I love doing well in school, so I love being able to study with the kids, make sure they're doing well in school, and really bring any great study habits that I possibly can into our home to make it easier for them and successful for them. So I've partnered with Post-it Brand, and as you guys can see in front of us, we have a few different Post-it Brand products. These are the super sticky yeah. ones. What I love is that they have lines on them too, which are awesome. Normal sticky flags. Oh, everyone, everyone should, everyone's heading up some stuff. Yeah, William, you love these too. We use the flags a lot too throughout the year when we're trying to remember information in books, know when to go back to a certain page. Now, this is what I love. Post-it Brand commissioned a study, and they had some really awesome findings. And because, guys, it only seemed fitting, I wanted to share some stats that really jumped out at me, and I popped them on some Post-it super sticky notes so I could remember. So you guys, listen to this. So 83% of Generation Z feel that they have more freedom with their note-taking style when they handwrite notes compared to using a digital device. Now as a mom, I loved hearing that stat. Now these uh, are some other things that I love. Now guys, listen to these, because you guys are part of this Generation Z, and this is what the study said, that you guys, you guys in your age group and a little bit older, you guys study best when? 68% said that when they write down keynotes on paper or sticky notes, followed by 56% saying, followed by flagging, which I said, important information in a book, in our flags, and also 41% said making flashcards. How many times do we make flashcards throughout the year? Millions. Every test. Honestly, every test we're making flashcards, we're writing things down on sticky notes, we're popping it up. That's the way that we study best in our family. And then this, for me, was probably the best stat to read. 93% of Generation Z uses handwritten notes to keep up with schoolwork in a typical week. And that is exactly our family. So what I love Post-it Brand, they are encouraging people everywhere. We're gonna do it right now. I want you guys to grab a pen, grab a, grab a pad, whatever one you guys like, whatever color one right now jumps out at you. And I want you guys to write down some goals, some aspirations, things that you guys wanna happen for the school year, okay? So maybe it's, you know, reading X amount of books, you know, whatever it is, I want you guys to write it down. And this is what I love, guys. When you guys are writing things down, what I love, what I hope I'm teaching you guys is that you're more likely to make it happen. So post a brand, like I said, they're encouraging people nationwide, but especially students to write down goals, aspirations, and really as a way to make them stick and accomplish these tasks in the new school year. And I absolutely love that. So I don't want to put any of my kids completely on the spot. So I'm not gonna ask you guys to read me your whole list, but I'm gonna go to each one of you guys and tell me just one of the things that's on your list that you really wanna happen for the brand new school year. Alexander, what's one thing on your list? Well, one is to get straight A's on my report card. I'm happy with that. Dad, are you happy with that one? Yes. That's a good one. Henry, let's read one of yours. You have a, wow, you have a few here. What do you want? What's, well, let's read one out loud. What do you like? Do good in do good in math. High five, Henry. I know you love math, so keep doing good in it. William, read me one of yours that you have on your list, honey. I want to read 75 books. Woo, that's a big goal. I love that. That's a big goal. This is our this is our reader. He loves to read. Benjamin, read me one of yours. What do you want? Give me one thing on your goal list for the back to school year. I want to get an A on my state project. Woo, he has his big state project this year, so that's a great goal. So, guys, great goals. Great dreams, great aspirations, we're gonna keep it going. I see a few more on your list. 
So I love that Post It Brand is doing this. It's not only important, it's beneficial. It's a wonderful and fun way to show children out there, all school kids that are going back to school, how it is. Things come into fruition when you believe it, when you see it, when you visualize it. So, all right, guys, we're going to pop these up on the fridge. I want to see these front and center for you guys always to keep in mind for the new school year. And I think I'm going to grab two, a pad over here, and write down some goals for our family. So thank you, Post It Brand. You guys say thank you. Thank, thank you, you Post It Brand. Thanks, everyone.